Luke was a physician and most likely Greek. He was probably the only writer of the Bible who wasn't Jewish. The book of Luke is presented as a thorough investigation into the life and times of Jesus the Christ, and as Luke was Greek and a physician, it is a logical study from start to finish of Jesus' time on earth. This book is addressed to Theophilus and tells the entire story of Jesus' journey here on earth. Luke never met Jesus personally, but he carefully investigated and researched the life of Christ, interviewing many of those who were close and personal with Jesus. Let the investigation begin. Luke begins his investigation by talking to Mary, the mother of Jesus, who had some great family history going back to John the Baptist in the very beginning before Jesus was even born. Jesus was born away in a manger in the little town of Bethlehem, and some shepherds heard the angels sing on high, sweetly singing o'er the plains. It was almost like a song. And that's what Christmas is all about, Charlie Brown. At age 12, he taught the rabbis a thing or two. Luke lists Mary's genealogy as the bloodline of Jesus. Luke found plenty of people who told him about the miracles Jesus performed. He healed the young and old, rich and poor, Jews and Gentiles, raised the dead, calmed some storms, and drove some demons out into a herd of pigs. A lawsuit is still pending in that case. Jesus was also well known for the stories or parables that he told, and there were several of those, one about a prodigal son, another about a neighborly good Samaritan, seeds and soils, a rich man and Lazarus, and on and on. He also taught a lesson on etiquette and humility. It was reported that he had some run-ins with the religious leaders over some Sabbath laws and accusations of blasphemy. Jesus sent his disciples out on a field trip to get some practice because he knew his time was short and they needed to learn to solo. Before long, his problems with the religious leaders got way out of hand and they made plans to have him killed. He was killed on a cross, buried in a tomb, and rose from the dead three days later before returning to heaven, and that's the way it was. 